<laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan McMillan, and um, in 2010, a research group called the Radikai Group published findings that stated 294 million emails are sent per day, and that means 2.8 uh, million are sent per second and 90 trillion are sent per year. And 90% of those are due to um, spam and viruses. So that means only 10% use the correct etiquette that is supposed to be used in emails. Um, knowing how to use electronic communication etiquette correctly is a great um, idea for um, any business um, job fields. The proper use of phones, emails, and fax etiquette allow the formal and effective communications not only at the company level, but as an international field. Um, the first one is phone etiquette. And, um, in the, in the book, International Business Communications, Cheney and Martin say, opinions are formed by um, more of tone and the um, voice quality rather than the actual word spoken. And the basic guidelines of phone talking is, um, first, you want to answer the phone promptly within the first or second ring. And you want to um, answer the phone saying good morning, good afternoon, and be courteous at all times by saying please and thank you. Things to avoid is you never want to put a person on hold. It's very irritating to everybody. And um, you never want to sound irritated or have a negative attitude to the person you're talking to. And in voicemails, you want to be brief but complete. And you want to include your name, date, time of calling, and reason for calling. And if you're making an international call, you want to make sure you include your um, time zone so they're able to call you back promptly in the right time. And um, in other countries, certain customs are different from your customs, so you need to make sure you know your, know, um, so you want to have an insult towards them. In Japan, they use their last names, and if you ask them to call you by your first name, it's considered an insult to them. And the second one is emailing. It's a more of an informal communication, and it's inappropriate for some types of messages. And advantages of emails are, there's low preparation going into them, they have fast delivery and they um, almost instantaneous and easy to respond to. And they're very convenient for the receiver because you can rely on, that they can reply on their own time and they don't require us much for fresh creation. Uh, the guidelines for emailing is make sure you have your name in a proper and it's capitalized so the reader doesn't make sure it's junk mail. And make sure your subject is no more than six words and so it's direct and to the point. And things to avoid in emailing is speak, don't speak ill of somebody. And um, never use humor or sarcasm in your email because um, it's hard to detect that in email and writing and you don't want to go off the wrong way. And um, the risk of emailing is um, you put your com company at risk if you send a bad email that they can track it at all times. Even after you delete the email, it still can be tracked. And the last is faxing. And it's an increasing method of international communication. And uh, make sure you give a, the person you're faxing a call ahead and make sure you have the right number. And never send more than 15 page fax because that's it's wasting a lot of paper and ink and it frustrates people. And um, avoid faxing nice documents like a resume because you want it to be on nice paper and so you have a good impression. And in conclusion, it's important to try and follow the guidelines of etiquette whenever you're using the email, phone, or fax. And um, also avoid try avoid anything that might potentially upset or disturb the reader. And if you're ever using international etiquette, make sure you know their culture so you don't upset them or insult them.